Tell me about the uh, tell me about the book. You were telling me about this as you were uh, you were writing this thing, uh, but how did you come up with this? And, and I love I the idea. A, I wrote a book, uh, a memoir uh, uh, that I did, and I went to this meeting that you go to like a sales brunch, and I'm there with these people from Barnes and Noble and Len Riggio, who owns Barnes and Noble, and there's like two dozen people there, whatever it is, twenty people, and they just offhandedly said, "What are you doing next?" And I wasn't even thinking. I go, "Oh, I'm going to do a parody book about Trump," and they all burst out into applause. So I lean over to my agent, and I'm like, we got to get on that right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's jump on that. Yeah, we got to yeah, go. yeah. We got to tonight. Go. So uh, Kurt, who's one of the funniest and, and cleverest men alive, he agreed to do this with me. And he wrote, as I said, the, the most of it. And uh, we, it's coming out election day. And this is a book about Trump's first 100 days in office. Written in his voice as you're, as you're Trump. As we all know, <laughs> Trump is a great writer. <laughs> Uh, I do love it. I love the title. You can't spell America without me. I mean, now you, you just have to do it now when you go to book things. You mean, and yeah. your own, well, I, your new, it hits shelves at, on Tuesday. And I was wondering if you would be interested in giving us a little reading, maybe? You want me to do a reading? OK. Well, I'm, there's nothing I love more than a good reading. With that in mind, it's time for the first installment of Tonight Show, Greetings. Tonight Show. I am a strong believer in sitting down personally with the people who are dying to work with me, eye to eye, face to face, kick the tires, give them the smell test. And the smell part, I mean literally. For instance, when I first met Steve Bannon in 2011, I thought, hey, come on, the khaki slacks and the no necktie and the big gut and the spotty face, quite frankly, reminded me of the actor Broderick Crawford kind of imitating Truman Capote. But then I got a whiff of Steve of this certain aroma that winners have that I'm able to smell. It's hard to describe. And other people, <laughs> and other people can't smell it, just me. But it's a kind of peppermint plus leather plus electrical fire. <laughs> or butane, but nicer, more like air conditioning, OK? <laughs> Smelling winners is one of my superpowers. Speaking of those, I sometimes feel like Steve can almost read my mind, like how my mom knew when my dad was going to smack me or how Aquaman could talk to all the sea creatures underwater. <laughs> the end. Alec Baldwin! Alec Baldwin, everybody! He can smell winners! You can't smell... You can't... You can't smell America without me as on November 7th. Uh, uh -huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said... And it's on and on and on.